Hi everyone, I am going to be showing how to convert a decimal float value into a hex using the IEEE 754 single precision float. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is going to be to find our three primary components, which are going to be the sign, the exponent, and the mantissa. Um, one thing to note is that the sign is always going to be the, one, the size of one bit, and the exponent is always going to be 8 bits, and the mantissa is always going to be 23. This is because we want it to equal 32 bits. The way that we do this is we kind of manipulate <laughs> these values, the, like the exponent and the mantissa, in such a way that it will always equal 8 bits, and we're going to see how that's done. Um, so the sign is going to, we're going to get that by looking at what the sign is here. Since it's negative, it's going to be a 1. If it was positive, it would be a 0. And then um, we're going to go ahead and next find the exponent. The way we find the exponent is converting this number into binary. So first of all, um, 11 is pretty easy to find into binary. Um, because it's such a small number, but also you can use a calculator to find this number. You just plug in that number and you can get the binary value of it. Um, also a way to find binary by hand is by taking this number and then dividing it by two. And then if it has a um, remainder, then that means it, the value is gonna be one. And if it doesn't, it's gonna be zero. Um, but since this is such a easy number to, to convert, to binary, we're just going to go ahead and do it by hand. So it's going to be 8 plus 2 plus 1. The decimal is going to stay there. And then this number over here, 0. 0.625, the way that we can find the binary for this is by divide, or multiplying it by 2. And then if the integer on the, side, on the left side of the decimal is a 1, then we will add a 1. And if it is a 0, we'll add a 0. And we'll do this until... Um, we get to 1, as I have shown here. All right. So, and then, so after we uh, do this um, multi uh, multiplication process, the way we'll convert this into, or interpret this into the binary, is by going from top to bottom. When we're finding the integer part, we're going to go from bottom to top. But since we're doing the decimal part, we're going to, the decimal point part, um, we're going to go uh, from the top to the bottom. For this one, it doesn't really matter because it's the same both ways, but it is good to know <laughs> for other um, problems. Okay, so one, zero, one is that value. And then now we're going to go ahead and find our exponent by moving our decimal place. Now this is how we do it in scientific notation. notation. Like if we had seven uh, times 10 to like the four, that meant that we moved the decimal place four times. And the reason why it's a 10 is because it has been, um, it, was, it was used in the decimal format. So we're gonna try to find this exponent when we're moving the decimal here. So we're gonna count it. One, two, three. All right, so we end up with And then our exponent is going to be 3. All right. Now, <laughs> um, it's pretty obvious that the number 3 is, is not represented with 8 bits. So we need to make sure that we represent it with 8 bits. And the way that we do that is to bias the exponent. The way that we bias the exponent is by adding 127. So the is equal to 127 plus 3, which is equal to 130. Okay, so then um, the biased exponent um, we need to put that into binary, so we can do that with the calculator. I've already done it here. 
Um, if you want to see how you do it with this calculator, it's pretty straightforward. You put in the, the number that you want, second base, and then you just change it to whichever representation you want and enter. And then you have your binary. So we're going to go ahead and write that down. So it's one, there's one, two, three, four, five. Zeros. Okay, and as you can see, now it is um, represented as an 8 bit. And the reason why is because this number is 2 to the 7, which is equal to 128. So that's going to bump it up. Because if, worst case scenario, this exponent is only 1. And so we're going to, because we're going to, we have at least one decimal place. So if, if, if it is, if that is the case, then this would just be one and then all zeros. But since ours is 130, we still have um, this, this two over here. Okay. Uh, actually, I can keep that arrow. Okay. So now we have our sign bit and we have our biased exponent. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so first we have our sign, which is one. Oops, sorry, let me let you see. Okay, so the first is one, and then we have our biased exponent, which is one and then five zeros, five zeros, and then one and a zero. And then we have our mantissa. Now this is the next part. So this is this part. Remember when we converted things over to binary? Now this number, since we are always going to move our exponent up to the first one, we're going to go, it's always there, so we're going to chop it off. It's no longer there anymore. When we move from um, hex to decimal, we're going to need to put that back. And that's where that one comes from. Okay, so now that we have our mantissa, we're going to add it here. One, like that. And now um, this is, so we have our one bit, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is our um, biased exponent. Now this is not 23 um, bits. So we're going to need to add zeros to make this account for 23 bits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's a lot of zeros, but the reason why we're doing that is so that um, it can account for, it, it, will, it can take up the amount of space that it needs to take up. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we can go ahead and convert this into hex. It's like the last step, so thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this into, oh, into four bits each. And I do this because it's very easy for me to mess up. One, two, three, four. I'm making sure that's right. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this number here is going to be 8 plus 2, which is 12, which in binary is going to be C. I like to put these guys over here because then I don't mess up. <laughs> so it's like an extra way to not mess up. So if you have a tendency to mess up, I would recommend putting those over there. Okay, and then this is this is the next four, so that's going to be one, 
which is the same in hex. And then this one is um, 2 plus 1, the same in hex. And this is 8 plus 2, which is A in hex. And then all these guys are just zeros. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so then there is our hexadecimal value. So there, our solution is C13A000. And that is what I was going for. So I hope this helps.